Good morning everyone, it is currently around 9.50. I woke up about 20 minutes ago and today I am doing a day in my life vlog. So I've the only thing I've currently got planned for the day is my social workers coming at 10.30 just to do regular supervision, uh, which is something that we do with fostering. Um, so she's gonna be here in about 40 minutes. So I need to get up and dress very soon. Uh, and I'm just going to chat to her probably for about an hour, hour and a half. And then after that, the world is my oyster. Um, I don't really have anything I need to do. I finished all my like work stuff up yesterday. Um, so I'm basically just kind of seeing where the day takes me. But I will bring you along for the journey. Just got dressed for the day. Just some casual jeans and this really comfy top. And I think I'm going to go and have some quick breakfast now and do a little bit of tidying in the house. Then, to be honest, my flat's already pretty tidy, so it shouldn't need too much doing to it. And then we will hopefully have my social worker here. It's a really lovely morning, actually. I mean, it's a bit grey, but the sun's out, and it always feels a lot better when the sun's out. Uh, it's about uh, 20 past 10, so about 10 minutes my social worker should get here. Having a bit of a dilemma, because as always, I've talked about this before, like, I am just rarely ever hungry in the morning like I'm kind of hungry but not very and I know I will be hungry probably in about half an hour to an hour's time which of course is exactly where my social work is going to be here and I can't eat so am I hungry enough to eat now or do I need to wait until afterwards but then I have to wait like an hour and a half before I'm going to eat so oh, like this is the this is the worst but anyway, is anyone else ever not hungry in the morning um, because I feel like I'm the only one, and you're supposed to eat quite quickly after you wake up, I think, but to me, it's just like, no, I just can't, I can't do it, so, um, I think I'm gonna have to, like, avoid it and have, like, a little, it's, I've got some little cakes or something, so I might have them as, like, a mid-morning snack when she's here, just with a cup of tea and stuff, so I've got something to eat, but, mmm, yeah, this is just, it's a bit annoying. Whew, so it has just gone, oh my gosh, it's half past 12. Um, half 12 now, and um, my supervising social worker's just left, so I am, um, I need to put a wash on, I've realised. I need to have some food, because it's basically lunchtime now, I still haven't eaten. Why am I so blue? I think it's just the grey lighting, anyway. Um, so I need to get some lunch. I have some, I made some potato, uh, bacon and potato hot pot yesterday in my slow cooker, which I have been really enjoying. It's just there, the little... Dish is, wash, is in the washing up tray. Um, and I had a bit of that left over, so that was really tasty. I might have that for lunch. I need to put a wash on, and then that's it. And then my mum just texted me, I think, saying they're having chili con carne or something for dinner tonight. So that sounds like it might be kind of appealing. I might go back to her and say if I'm going to go do that or not. And other than that, like I said before, I have, like, no work to do at the moment because I've been really good and I've, like, tidied everything up. I finished it all yesterday, so I've got nothing else to do. I probably will go to dinner tonight with my parents just because I've got nothing else to do right now. So one of the things I got for Christmas was this eco egg, which is apparently a more eco-friendly way of washing your clothes. So I'm going to try it out for the first time now. So they say you just put your washing in and then you put it on the top and then it just washes normal, I guess. This is my bacon hot pot. Don't mind the washing machine in the background. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't look that appetizing. I made the mistake of forgetting that you really shouldn't put like dairy items in the slow cooker because it just kind of curdles. Um, which it definitely did a bit, although I have to say, fortunately it tastes absolutely fine, it just doesn't look as appealing. So what I probably should have done is put the white sauce in like in the last 20 minutes of the um, slow cooker, but I put them in right at the beginning so it was in there for hours, which was not so great, but it does, I mean it tastes absolutely fine, so I would 100% make this again in the slow cooker, I just probably do it a bit differently, and I mean if I'm doing this for just me and no one else is looking at it, then no, I don't mind eating it, so... It still worked out well, I think. So it's just on 2.30 now. My mum's just invited me over for around 3.30 and we'll spend some time together and then I'll stay for dinner because, like I said, earlier she texted me to the Hamilton Chili Konkani, which I really like. So that's what I'll do this afternoon. I've basically just been staying in bed, <laughs> going through random YouTube stuff. I'm having a real problem at the moment, guys. I can't find a book series I really like. Some of my favourite authors, like Brooke Blaine, Brooke Blaine and Ella Frank, um, they've got some new, I think they've got a new book coming out in February, but I've read all the other books and all the other authors I really like, I can't really find any, I just, I'm really struggling, I'm looking through my, you know, suggestions on Kindle Unlimited and I just can't find anything that really appeals to me. So I'm a bit lost because I haven't got a book, good book. Those of you who are bookworms will know what it feels like when you haven't got a book. And you're like, what, what do I do with myself? Because I don't know what, to, I haven't got anything that I'm really into reading and I, I get so invested in the characters in my books. So 
yeah, kind of missing that. I'm also though um, slowly losing my mind at the moment because I, like I said, I've got little work to do and I'm on standby for a new foster placement at some point when I get the phone call but just so my last placement left I think early November and I haven't had another one since then I've had phone calls like several phone calls in between some I've said yes to some I've said no to but if they've said yes they've either not come into care or they've gone somewhere else or whatever you know there's just there's lots of complex things in, in fostering so I just I basically don't have anyone at the moment but I'm kind of like well, the call could come at any time. It could come tomorrow. It could come in six months time. Like you just don't know, but it is slowly making me lose my mind because I have nothing to do in between. It's really hard to plan because you're like, well, I could plan this for like two weeks time, but will I have a child then or will I not? So that's really difficult. So yeah, that's driving me slowly insane, but hopefully it won't be too long now. Um, I definitely needed a bit of a break. It was nice to have like a month or two off and particularly at Christmas to have that time just with me and my family, that was really nice. But now I think I'm ready to jump into a new challenge. So we'll see about that. But yeah, I did just wanna say like I am, I am like waiting for a new place and getting calls and stuff, just nothing's been, nothing's been happening at the moment. So we'll just have to see how that pans out over the next couple of months. But whilst I haven't had kids, I have taken advantage to do up some of the house. So I have changed the, the bathroom, I've repainted, my bathroom I'll show you in a second was planning to redo the kitchen because it's 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 a nice kitchen it's still pretty modern but I just don't like the color scheme so I was gonna have um basically just like the doors and the sides either refitted or resprayed or something just you know to make them a bit different um because I wanted like a different color scheme but <laughs> the prices oh my goodness just to have the doors changed on the kitchen and like the surfaces changed was going to cost over six grand and I was like just like that's just ridiculous just to literally have some cupboard doors changed um so I was like no I'm not going to do that it's just too expensive to justify it and it doesn't need it so if it had been a lot less I would have probably gone for it but given that price like no way there's no point but I do still want to redo the living room because the flooring needs changing its carpet and there's a lot of marks on it and stuff from the kids so I want to change that to like a heart a wooden and like a vinyl wood effect flooring, which will be easier to clean and then just have some nice rugs and stuff on it. So that I definitely wanna do. And then I wanna repaint all the walls in that room as well. So that's where the next project is. But in the meantime, I had done up the bathroom. So I'll give you a little look now. Okay, so the lighting's actually kind of good in here at the moment, excuse the echo. But basically this whole wall here has been repainted. So it used to be that this was all cream and then there was just like a, this sort of green color up on this section here. Um, I'll see if I can find an old photograph and I'll put it up to show you kind of what it looked like. But yeah, so this is now all been painted this sort of deep, um, I think it's called azure or azine, azine colour from home base. And like the, uh, the ceiling's been repainted as well around the door and stuff. And then over here, the cupboards, these used to be cream, they've been painted white and this kind of now has this almost like wood effect to it. And then the side of the bath has also been painted white, that used to be cream too and it was just like a um I think like to, to redo the whole room to be honest cost less than I want to say it was less than 100 pounds I think it was almost less than 50 actually to redo it all so I got a new little section for my things in the bath because the one that was hanging on the shower here was just gross um so yeah but I think it you know still looks pretty nice I could have done the towels a bit more nicely but this color I just absolutely love it so yeah, what do you think? Oh, and the blind, there used to be a blind but I took that out because quite frankly, I never used it. And like, there's nothing on the other side of this window and it's, you can see it's, um, what's the word, translucent anyway. And of course I've added in some lovely flowers, but these are fake because I kill plants. And yeah, so the kitchen, basically like, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, I need to do another wash. Um, this, I mean, it looks really pretty fine, doesn't it? But it's just, I don't really like cream. So I was thinking I was gonna repaint all these walls around here. This I hate this colour that's currently here. And also there's a few like, you might be able to see patched in places around here. Um, so I was gonna do them all like a, a white with a hint of green, like an apple white kind of colour, and then have this whole kitchen redone with a lighter table countertop and some like blue cupboard colours, etc. So yeah, and um, that was kind of my initial plan but it's just way too expensive. So what I am currently doing is, um, oh, this is new, this new ladder shelf. I love this. This was an, um, another gift from my mum at Christmas, actually, I remembered. So I've just kind of put my sewing machine printer, everything on here. It's just made a lot more space down here. It's really nice, actually. But yeah, this flooring is just like, 
really gross to be honest, particularly around the dining room table, it just carpet just doesn't work. So I'm gonna have similar to what's here, but a lighter color and the whole thing is gonna be right, redone right to the end there. So yeah, hopefully that should look quite nice. The other thing I'm thinking I might do is get a different um, sofa because to be perfectly honest, I never sit out here. Like I always tend to sit in my bedroom on my bed because I like to sit like this with my legs out and my laptop on here, but it doesn't really work with this like arm part of the chair and we don't I don't have an ottoman or anything so I can't you know if I sit this way I have to sit like this or usually what I do is sit with my legs crossed um but really I want to sit with my legs out like that so I'm thinking of getting an l-shaped sofa here like a nice redoing the color scheme completely so these curtains will be changed these are these <laughs> funny story about these these are super cheap curtains I think I got from I don't even know actually I just remember they were super duper cheap and they were too long, I had to cut them and sew the ends. And they're just literally there to have a curtain when I first moved in here. They were never intended to be left that long, but they obviously have been. Um, so they need to be changed. But I'm thinking I might change this setup here so that the little sofa that I have here, little armchair, goes. And instead of that, I have a little L-shaped sofa. Really comfortable, where I can sit like this during the day with my legs up. I have a blanket over me and actually use this space a bit more because I just when I've got kids when I've got kids I tend to use the space a lot more but when I don't I literally spend all my time either in the kitchen or in my bedroom and it just feels like such a waste so I really want to make this area more comfortable but I'm curious if those of you that have l-shaped sofas do you use them more um did, what did you find made your living area more comfortable because I mean the sofa is fine it's just I wouldn't choose to sit here you know, it's, it's, you know, it's a nice sofa, it's perfectly usable. I, I, you know, sell it on or I donate it somewhere. But I just don't, I just don't use this space, is the truth. So I was thinking I might do something a bit quirky, go for like a white on the wall, have like a bright coloured, like teal maybe sofa with an L-shaped. I don't know. I'm still thinking. Interior design isn't really my thing, but I just want to freshen this place up a bit. It's kind of, there's bits of it that have been thrown together over the years as I like first moved in here and got my first kitchen, uh, sorry, dining table and chairs, my first sofa, and gradually over placed things and got nicer versions. This kind of wall here, this wall along here is a bit round, like that was just an Ikea shelf I got and then this is another Ikea one and it's just like, I kind of threw them in. It was just sort of like, as and when I needed more storage, I just went and bought something. So I quite like the, the long one actually, the kind of, I don't know what you'd call this. What's it, like a shelf? There's a word for it, I can't think of it now. But that one I quite like. I might keep that one and move it across. But other than that, like everything's kind of just thrown in a bit. So I wanted to sort of stage it a bit more, I think now. It's kind of make it a bit more grown up. It's not just a flat that's been put together. It looks nice, it's just I'm tweaking things. Basically, I'm really bored and I need another placement. That's that's with the summary of all of this. That's what it's really about. Just heading off now to the parents' house. Just literally going to take my laptop case with me. I can't bother to bring anything else. I'm spending so much time at my parents' house, honestly, at the moment, that I don't need to bring anything else with me. I just realised as well that something else I've completely forgotten to mention so far in this vlog is that I actually came off my pill at the end of last year. 31st of December was the last I took my pill. I have done a few things about this on my Instagram, if you follow me, uh, Precious Stars Vlogs. And I was basically saying that the reason I've come off my pill is because it was having, I was having a real issue with my mental health, like feeling so low and having like these depressive episodes, which is really unusual for me. That's not common at all. Um, I've never had that before. And the only thing I can think of is, is either the pandemic, the pill, or both together. So even though my periods are still going to be hell, I thought I'd come off it just for a, a few months just to see like how my body reacts, whether it was the pill that's making me feel really low um, or if it was just the pandemic in general, just because I just felt so, it was so out of sorts for me. And as painful as my periods are, I just wanted to give it a chance. So at least I could see, you know, this is definitely what's causing it. And I'd know and not be like, oh, it must be I must generally be feeling depressed about something or something's going on. No, it's definitely this that's causing it. Um, and then I can make the decision that, you know, it might be that a few months down the line that I go, actually, do you know what? My periods are still so hellish that I've decided taking the mental health hit is a bit, is better than dealing with this pain every month. Or equally, it might be that I decide that actually having my period, that period pain once a month is better than the impact on my mental health. I don't know right now, but I do want to give it a go at least. So I might regret it, but I, I think... I know they're going to be painful. All the pills done is suppress my periods, so it's not going to have cured anything, unfortunately. But it felt like it was worth it. So there probably will be a period vlog coming up in the next couple of weeks. I 
had a positive ovulation test on Sunday, it's Tuesday now, on Sunday, 16th of January, and I also had really bad pain in my hip that evening, like aching pain, which is what I've always had with ovulation. So I'm pretty sure, fingers crossed, I have ovulated, which means my period should come in about two weeks' time. So never know, I might be able to start those again, even if it's just for a short period of time. I know a lot of you quite enjoyed those vlogs, so I will get those up. Not sure if I'll do them every single month or not going forwards, because it depends on how my period is and how regular it is, getting back into that swing of things, etc. But uh, I guess we'll see. So I just wanted to give you a bit of an update on that. Um, I think, like, because I am kind of having some little cramps, like not really periody cramps, just my body readjusting cramps. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been an interesting journey coming off this pill. But uh, hopefully, should get my body back into a routine, into its regular cycle, quite quickly. Currently making the most of being able to snuggle up in this fluffy blanket on my parents' sofa. Uh, I had a good chat with my mum and my dad earlier and it's about, it's just before five o'clock actually. Um, I've been drinking, the, I absolutely am obsessed with these drinks. It's called, hang on that's in, it's in two different languages, I've got to find the English side, hang on a second. Green Sour Cherry, this bit. And um, I've been, I found them in the first lockdown we had during Covid and I'm absolutely obsessed. Again, I've just basically been, uh, I've brought my laptop with me so I've just been watching some videos and stuff. And then we'll have dinner later on. And then I think we might all watch an episode of Poirot together. It's one of the things that we like doing as a family. Um, ITV is kind of replaying some of the episodes. And we we always, we all really enjoy them. So I think we might watch another one tonight of those, which would be really nice. Well, it's just gone past seven o'clock now. And I've had a lovely afternoon with my parents. Had dinner. Just taken one of their um, <laughs> little lollipops that they've got. This is left over from Halloween, actually, because they always didn't get as many people coming knocking as they expected. Um, oh, the light's going out. I'm just about to head off home, and hopefully the road should be quiet by now. So it's just gone nine o'clock now. I'm sort of half in my clothes, half in my pyjama shorts. So I was thinking I might get ready for bed, and I was sort of on the fence as to whether or not I wanted a bath tonight, but I've decided what the hell I'm going to have one anyway. And I'm currently reading, I might have already shown this, because I've been reading this book for a little while now, but it's... Um, this book by Martin Rees, it's called On the Future Prospects for Humanity. Let's see, my brain's going. Um, it's all right, like I've not been totally in love with it. Um, I'm enjoying, I think part of the thing is there's a lot of astronomy stuff in here, which I kind of already knew because I have a, an interest in astronomy just in general. I like studying it. So it's, I'm working my way through and it's, there are interesting parts of it, but I probably, not sure if I'd recommend this again. I'll be, I'll be pleased when I have a new... Uh, non-fiction book. Oh, I said earlier I was struggling to find a book. I meant I'm struggling to find non-fiction uh, books. Not Non-fiction I usually am quite um, okay with. And I like to, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I like to read my different genre of books differently. So my non-fiction books I prefer to have in like a paperback or a hardback copy like this that I can actually hold and sort of make notes in or anything. Not that I ever do that, but if I ever did want to do that. Bookmarking pages, actually I do sometimes stick like sticky notes in them. But when it comes to like um, fiction books, generally like romance and stuff that I like to read, then I like to have them on my Kindle app, on my tablet. So that's just my preference. <laughs> um, I have found a book, I can't remember what it's called, but it's just one that popped up and I thought, well, I'll try it. So I might read that later. But anyway, I think I am going to end the vlog here because nothing else is really going to happen tonight. The only other thing I might do is go and get some noodles because I've got into a really bad habit of making like the, the Maggie. I know that's not how you're supposed to pronounce it, but anyway, the Maggie noodles at night time. Um, because I can't get them for any of my local supermarkets or corner shops. They used to sell them, but they don't anymore. So I now have to order them in bulk from Amazon, which means I buy like a pack of 20 at a time for it to be cost effective, um, which is great, but then I have to eat through 20 packs of noodles. So yeah, but other than noodles, nothing else is gonna happen. So it's a pretty chilled out day. As I said earlier, the thing is at the moment, I'm just sort of losing my mind around waiting. Like, is the phone gonna ring? Is it not? Is it gonna ring this week, next week? three months time, I don't know. It's kind of hard to plan things around that. This is definitely one of the hardest parts of fostering for me personally. I quite like having a little break in between placements, but at the same time, I find it difficult when I have longer stretches in between because you're like, what do I do? I Do I start something else? And it's also, it is also a little bit challenging financially because you kind of set things up to work with fostering and then when they're not there, you've got all this time, but you can't just suddenly reboot a business or reboot something in between. So it's a bit like, it's a, it's a tricky thing to navigate. I'm just going to say that much, but yeah. But I did have a good meeting with my social worker today. So who knows what's going to happen in the next few weeks, but we shall wait and see. Obviously we're, we're waiting for you know, a phone call, waiting for my period to show up at some point, just 
lots of things happening potentially in the future, just nothing for certain and that's that's kind of killing me this whole waiting game, but anyway. Thanks so much for watching guys, I'll stop rambling on now. Do please subscribe, don't forget if you want to get cloth pads you can get them from my website Precious Stars, link is down below as always, and I will see you next week. Bye for now everyone, have a great day. Mm -hmm.